Hello, now as you can see, there is something slightly different about the setup today. I'm filming on my GoPro, uh, that's why it's such a wide angle, and I've got my normal camera, my Canon 60D, up here. What's happening is because this video is going to be about this box. This is sort of like my box of memories of my time at uni. Uh, any sort of ticket or little item or receipt or anything that like I, I wanted to hold on to and remember, like have a, have a little memento of, I put in this box since the start of university. So it's full of three years worth of memories and my plan is to go through it and talk about the stories behind the items. Let's begin, actually, with the box itself. Uh, this is, as you can see, a promotional box of Batman vs Superman. Uh, and the reason I have this is because I was lucky enough to go with my best mate to the premiere uh, of Batman vs Superman in London. Incredibly cool evening, huge, huge premiere, great to see. It was a cool, cool event. So. Big thanks to my friend Elliot for, for uh, inviting me along to that premiere. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, let's see what we've got inside. Okay, cool. Uh, let's explain this first. This is a mask of Howard, one of the members of the boy band Take That. Uh, I have a friend called Henry who is a huge, huge Take That fan. A few years ago, I can't remember exactly which year, but it was when I was at uni, we went to a Take That concert and uh, we bought masks. He had the Gary Barlow one, I had the Howard one. Obviously we wore them a bit, we took some photos. We took them off for the actual concert because they were obviously, you know, trying to watch a concert through this was very difficult. Um, but then afterwards, when we had them on, the important thing to know about a Take That concert is almost all of their fans are in the demographic of 40 to 50 year old women. So we were very much outnumbered and the minority uh, at the concert. And on our way out, people had been drinking and me and my friend Henry put on our masks and we were leading a chorus of these women singing Take That songs. It was quite, quite a moment. Won't forget it. Very bizarre. That's the story behind the Take That mask. This is a press pass for London Comic Con this year. Uh, as part of uh, Rhubarb TV, the um, university student TV outlet that I run, or we used to run, I got us press passes to go to Comic Con, which was so much fun. Uh, it was so good. If the video isn't already out on this channel, it will be out soon. So what we're looking for now is if we... I found him! God, no, hey, get back here! Um, because it was so much fun and we shot a bunch of different videos and it was one of the most enjoyable experiences filming I've ever had and it was great to be there as well. I forgot how much fun Comic-Con was um, and we went as press, which was so, so cool. Definitely would love to do it again. Now, I won't go through everything in the box just because I don't think all of this stuff you guys would be too interested in, but I'll just pick out some favourites because obviously, as you can see, there's a lot in here. I kept all my um, cinema tickets while well, I, well, I went during my time here at university to the view in stains. Uh, that was for Hereditary, which I saw quite recently, which wasn't actually that good. This, I usually write in the back. So this was the uh, wristband of my final night at the student union, which was a lot of fun. Summer Ball, I kept all of these lanyards. The um, I went to Summer Ball each year while I was here. It was thoroughly enjoyable. Um, always good memories at Summer Ball. This is, I love this so much. I wanna get a close up on this. This is a $2 note, which a friend of mine in the US gave me um, when I went out to visit her. She's at university, uh, University of Florida, go Gators. She gave me this, which was so cool because I'd heard about them, but never seen one in real life. And uh, I'm really happy that I now own one, which was very kind of her to give it to me. And it's so cool. It's a $2 bill. It's actually legal tender in the US. They're just incredibly, incredibly rare. So I feel very lucky to, um, own one. This was the visitor's pass I wore when I went to the Viacom headquarters in London. I was shortlisted for a internship at Comedy Central, which sadly I didn't get, but it was an interesting day nevertheless, and uh, it was it was cool and it was fun. It was a good day. This, <laughs> this is a train ticket that I took to go to a job interview in Twickenham for a uh, company as a video producer that I didn't get, but 
good experience nevertheless. This was the wristband for the uh, SU elections, so the elections that take place for who are the who are going to be the sabbatical officers to run the SU to uh, announce the winners. They had a night out. It was literally in the SU club, and they announced them on stage. Uh, the reason why it was such a great night for me is because um, longtime friend of mine and appeared on Definitely Owen a lot, Dom. Uh, he won and is now the vice president of sports at Royal Holloway. So I was very proud of him uh, that he won and has a job. This was the press pass for Varsity, which was um, University of Surrey versus Royal Holloway. Uh, those were like the two competing universities. We hosted it this year, Royal Holloway. And being with Rhubarb, uh, we got press passes and did a eight hour live stream of all the events in the day. So that was a lot of fun. Oh, my tickets for Hamilton. So I was very lucky to go see Hamilton on the West End on March the 5th, 2018. It was the day of my birthday. Uh, I bought the tickets back in October 2016. So it was a great day uh, to go see it. And I want to see it again so badly because I loved it very much. This is the um, business card for the company that uh, we rented a American police car from to shoot the short film I wrote. Uh, and I have to say they were really good. They were great people and um, uh, they the car was incredible and they were brilliant. So couldn't have, uh, couldn't have asked for better people. This is the very long list of all the books I took out at once um, while researching my dissertation. This is the uh, boarding pass for the Red Funnel Isle of Wight, uh, what are they called? Ferries. Uh, myself and my housemates went down to the Isle of Wight in February for like a, a weekend away and uh, it was genuinely a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. We were staying in this sweet little cottage and there wasn't any Wi-Fi so we had a great time just hanging out as um, a house and we played board games and uh, went out for kind of uh, dinner and it was really fun. It was such a fun weekend. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, this is a good story. Okay, so this... Let me explain the story first before I explain what, what this is. Super Bowl. The student pub was hosting like a sort of party event for the Super Bowl where uh, they'd stay open, they'll stay open till it finishes and um, they'll be showing it on all the screens. And I'm a big fan of Super Bowl and American football and I have a bunch of friends and we've gone to see the Super Bowl every single year that we've been here. We've gone and watched it. And so I saw that they made the event on Facebook, this pub, and they said in it that you could go in and book a table for the Super Bowl. So I thought, that's a good idea, make sure we get a table because it's probably going to be rammed. So uh, I'm walking by the pub one day and I go in and reserve a table. Although it's run like a lot of the staff are students and I love students, I really do, but they're just not the best at their job sometimes. Case in point right here. So I go up and I talk to the person behind the bar who is a student and I say I'm here to uh, reserve a table for the uh, Super Bowl and she sort of looked at me blankly and didn't really know what I was talking about so I explained it and we sort of came to an understanding that this was possible and everything and then she tore off a bit of receipt paper and wrote down uh, my name and the time and how many people. I had very little hope that that receipt would end up anywhere and I thought we're probably not going to get a table but it's fine I'll survive. Okay, thanks, bye. Two or three days later, Super Bowl's rolls around. Uh, me and my friends get there, and it is packed. It's completely packed. All the tables are filled apart from one. There is one table, and I'm like, I hope that's our table. And I go over to it, and there is this sign on that table. It says, reserved for Oliver from 10.45. It's about 11ish, so we were a bit late. So I go up to the bar, I find my way to the front, and I explain, hi, I've got a table reserved for... Owen, I say, because I was trying to figure out what can I do here, because I'm pretty sure this is our table. I have a table reserved for Owen, uh, and so he looks at the thing and says, uh, I don't really see it, and I said, oh, it might have been put down as Oliver. They uh, they didn't really, uh, they they didn't, I can't remember what I said. It wasn't like they didn't really know what they were doing, but I said, it would happen in a bit of a rush or something. And he said, oh, okay, and I said, I'll go, I think that's my table, it's, it's the right seats, we'll just go, we'll go over there. And he said, okay, fine. So we sit down at the only empty table in the entire pub. I quickly swipe this sign off the table. So in case an Oliver does walk in and he has reserved this table, then it's gone. It doesn't matter. So I swipe this off the table, fold it up and put it in my pocket. And then I spend the first half an hour of the Zoom pool really nervous that 
a staff member and an Oliver was going to walk over to us and be like, guys, this isn't your table. But fortunately, it didn't happen. This was supposed to be my table. They just got my name wrong. So all was good in the end. And this was the most recent Super Bowl. Eagles Patriots, what a game. So glad. One of the highlights of my year, in all honesty. One of my favorite nights out was going to see that Super Bowl. Oh, this was this storyboard for a, a bit we did for um, Real Love TV. It was an Indiana Jones bit. These are some glow in the dark glasses I was given uh, one night at the SU. I think they're really fashionable. What on earth is this? Lamborghini. Not a sponsor, but. Uh, Lamborghini has been one of my favourite drinks to drink at university. It's a, usually it's a sparkling Perre, uh, so it's a very sweet uh, alcoholic drink. It's got a very low percentage of alcohol, but it is so, so cheap. And you can buy these huge bottles of it. And um, it's really cheap, it tastes really nice, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. This is the cutout because once I bought a box of Lambrini, it was literally like you can buy a box of wine. I bought a box of Lambrini and uh, it was uh, a great purchase. It was incredibly cheap. Summer ball wristband from 2017. Colors ball wristband. My timetable for, for second year. What is it? Oh yeah. So uh, there's something in, it's, it's one of those really weird British traditions that I genuinely actually can't explain myself. But there's something, there's someone called the Lord Mayor in London. They kind of serve as a symbolic position for a year. And when they are crowned Lord Mayor, I don't know what the term is, there's a show, which basically means is this big parade through London. And a lot of different companies in London and military units who are stationed in, in London a part of the parade and I was very lucky to be part of this parade so it was so much fun uh, literally I walked kind of through London with people waving high-fiving kids along the way and I knew what it uh, felt like to be part of a parade so that was a thoroughly enjoyable day oh my days I'm not sure if I can show this uh, so so back in first year me and my friend Larry my housemate were tempted to set up a society um, which never happened, of course, because it would take way too much effort for us. Um, but it was it was going to be called Zeitgeist, and it was going to be like just discussing films and culture and music and things like that. But the important thing is you need to get like, I think it was 20 signatures of students who might be interested to join. Um, and so that's exactly what we did. We went round and ended up getting 26, um, which was was an enjoyable time explaining what the hell we were stupid enough to try and figure out what we were going to do. These are some storyboards from a short film I was a uh, cinematographer on. As you can see, I'm a horrific drawer, and so I try my best to avoid uh, drawing as much as I can. This is a ticket for the uh, Christmas carol service with the Royal Holloway Choir. Phenomenal choir, a kind of world-class church choir, and they were exceptional, and I went every year that I was here. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, if you're ever in Egham, by any chance, near round Christmas, I'd highly recommend going to see these guys perform because they are next level. Bunch more um, cinema tickets. The Revenant, Spectre, Legend, that was good. The Martian, that wasn't. Oh yeah, in first year we would get these. Our rooms would be checked, I think like once a month or something, just to make sure they were clean enough and we weren't trashing them basically. And uh, after they checked the room, they'd leave this kind of um, We've inspected your room today and you're keeping it in good order. Um, little uh, note. Oh, no way. So this, this was a Hogwarts badge that I made in first year because there was a Harry Potter themed night out. And if you went in costume, you got to skip the line and get in immediately. And so I wore a suit with my old school tie uh, and then stuck this to the suit jacket as if it was a Harry Potter costume, as if I was a member of Hogwarts. And a few of my other friends did the same. My friend Larry dressed up in a bin bag and went as a Dementor, which I think was a favourite. But then we got there and... There was no queue. It was completely empty and we walked straight in and there was barely anyone in the night out. Like there was no one in there. And so it was really funny that we spent hours trying to make these costumes and then 
there was no queue to skip. This was the laundry card I had in first year uh, to use the laundry services on campus. I'm sure if you go to university in the UK, you probably, oh hey, it might be a worldwide thing. You probably also had one of these as well. That was my room in first year. I was reading the name of the accommodation, block G, floor one, room six. Such a good room. So many great memories of Reed Block G. This was the name tag I wore because I was an extra slash had a minor cameo in the short film I wrote. And my name was Officer Carter. And the reason why Carter was important is because that was the name of the boss character in the first draft. He used to be called Officer Carter. But then we wanted to distinguish him with his name as well, so we made him Captain, and the alliteration Captain Carter, we feel, sounded a bit too rhythmic and a bit too much, so we changed his name to Captain Roberts, uh, and so Officer Carter became uh, erased, basically, from the film, and then when we had the badges made to uh, identify with the other officers, uh, I took up Officer Carter as a little memento of the fact he used to be a character in there that I, I found. Very sweet. And then this was my first letter, welcoming me to Rob Holloway, congratulating me on my exam results, and looking forward to meeting me in September. Wow. That was a long time ago. So, there we go. There's the empty box. Uh, box of memories of my time here at Rob Holloway. It's been fantastic. No other way of putting it. And so many great memories in this box, and I'd be very sorry to, well, is pretty much the end so I, I am very sorry that it is it is over because uh this is a wonderful wonderful collection of memories and um as much as i love that they're all there i mean i wish i wish i had the time to make more but i will make more just not at all away thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane for me and you found some of the stories funny or interesting uh hope you're enjoying the final term series and i will see you in the next video now i just gotta put all this stuff back in